Hello equestrians and adventure fans. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. In this episode, it is time to learn about the Bosnian mountain horse. This horse has a long, long history, a thousand years or more. What they have in themselves is a um, genetic treasure and so, in a sense, they are um, guardians of the future of the modern uh, breeds of horses. Because of their primitive genes, they actually kept uh, the characteristics that helped horses survive the millennia. One of my viewers connected me with the International Bosnian Mountain Horse Association. From our very first conversation, I could feel the passion they have for this breed. And they invited me to Slovenia where the association headquarters are located. For this trip, we'll be staying at an Airbnb on a horse farm. Unfortunately, the weather in Slovenia today is not exactly behaving itself. Uh, we've got the ducks happy though. Our first stop is an apple orchard and a family farm, where we'll be heading out for a quest ride. Well, there, there is no bad weather for horse riding, if you're <laughs> good or bad equipment. Yeah, so, yes, exactly. <laughs> I started with horses uh, when uh, my mom and uh, Anton Dolinšek come together and uh, they were talking about our farm and uh, he said about uh, the horses because we had a lot of land not used and then we agreed to have horses. That must have been pretty exciting because obviously you had an interest in horses. Yes. And now it's turned into so much more because now you have seven of them and you're breeding, right? Yeah, and it keeps getting bigger. <laughs> uh, so the first one is Stelion. He's uh, Mickey. Linear line, line. Mm -hmm. uh, the Barut. So uh, in the, if you translate that, that means uh, uh, black powder. So they are a bit more uh, like, uh, more uh, energetic. He's uh, eight years old. Uh, he was born uh, in Slovenia. testing out the true durability of the breed today here they are they are proving their worth in all sorts of weather <laughs> That slippery. <laughs> it's supposedly a very good view over here. <laughs> we'll just have to imagine, I think. Wow, it's like all misty in the woods too. So what would you like people to know about the Bosnian mountain horse? They're really a uh, great character. They have really good character. They are not really hard to, uh, hard to take care of them. They are always outside. It's not a problem like uh, the rain or the snow. They're really um, not problematic. And also the diseases, they are basically none of them. I get to ride not one, but two 
Bosnian mountain horses. This breed is endangered and we are so lucky to be meeting this great group of people that are dedicating their lives to this breed. So neat to see their history and they're just such fun horses. The second one is Sophie. She is also eight years old. Uh, she was uh, born in uh, Croatia and uh, yeah, I just started with her so she's a, bit, she's a bit green when it comes to riding but she's doing great. Are you hoping to have a, a career to work with horses for your job, uh, for your life, or what probably do you? Probably not the main, yeah. but uh, for the farm and for the, for the soul. Absolutely. Like, yeah. For the soul. Yeah. I like how you describe that. <laughs> they are so good for our souls. Yeah. Healing. Yeah. That's one of the things that I love. You know, I can get on a horse in a new country, like today, yeah. and you just feel at home. It really makes you a stronger and a better person. It's true. day for horses to be riding today. Yeah. Everything was slippery, everything was wet, and they did such a great job. It was really cool. What's your hope for the future for, for you and your horses? I hope uh, a number of them will grow up because they're really, uh, there are not a lot of them. Yes, endangered breed. I hope they will, the number will grow up. That's a great hope. Before we head out, it's time to enjoy a homemade and homegrown apple strudel. We are on our way to meet one of the founders of the Breed Association. Yeah, this is a room, a collection of uh, the memory of the Boston Mountain Horse. I think it's uh, only this one in the ex-Yugoslavia territory. <laughs> I brought these requisites mostly from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Some is also from Serbia. And here is represent a kind of the history, uh, how the people lives together with the horses, uh, with the Ma Bosnian mountain horse because the horse was the very, very important, sometimes or generally. <laughs> uh, it was at first the horse and then the woman. It's difficult to understand, but without the horse, the people on the mountain, mountains, they cannot get to, 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 go to, to do any of transport, to go to the... Uh, to the shops, for example, to exchange the, the goods and so on and so on. And here is the most uh, important requisites about this breed, uh, from the simple one, wooden uh, saddle for carrying. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Always with this carrying saddle uh, was also this back, because when the horse has to go or has to work the whole day, 10 or more hours. Uh, they, there was no time uh, for eating, uh, for eating grass. They, the horse needs two, three hours or more. And they put this back, put their corn or, or uh, not wheat. Um, Oats. Oat, mm -hmm. yes, oat. And it was finished 15, 20 minutes. And he has enough energy to, to work again. 
that means this was always together with the horse and with this carrying saddle. Wow. Then we have also military version. This is model 48, that means it was made 948. This is the very modern, last model from 977. It's made from aluminium. Here is gas mask. It's for the horses. For the horses. Yeah. You never seen? I've not, not in person, just like <laughs> in a movie. Yeah, it was in Yugoslavia time. And the uh, soldier has to put at first the gas mask to the horse and then uh, to the soldier. This is originally new from Yugoslavian military, you see? Everything is still in the fat. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, the, the hoof yeah, rasp here and the nippers. Er and knife, everything is there. This was for fast repair of, uh, of hoof. And you see how small is this horseshoes? It's very for small. For horse. Yeah. And here, this is military horseshoes. When you go in the winter time or in the, in the very uh, mountains, they just uh, clean these holes and then put in different, I know expression on, on German, Stuhle. <laughs> Maybe studs? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see different uh, shape. Uh, you put four in this horse and the horse is ready to go to, to, uh, on the ice okay. or in the mountains. Can you imagine? And this was very fast. It's four Just, wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that too, the size is so interesting. Here is also one very old. You see? Oh my gosh. It's very old. Oh. More than 70, 80, maybe 100 years. I love just all of the, all of the different artifacts and everything here. It's so cool. Yeah, I hope that someone will continue this work because I don't want that this history will be forgotten. It will be catastrophic. Why did you choose to get involved with the Bosnian mountain horse? Hmm. When I was uh, seven, eight years old, uh, here um, uh, very close to River Sava, it's uh, uh, terrain, it's very uh, thir about 35, 30 to 35 degrees. And that time my father was uh, chief of the forest. Uh, and there was a group of horses, about 20 and four people from Bosnia and Herzegovina, and they carried the woods for the heating from this terrain to up. And I saw, and later, 55 years later, I came to Bosnia and Herzegovina to meet again these horses. I want to have two or three just for fun, for riding. And then I saw that there is no more horses. How come? After Second World War in Yugoslavia was altogether close to half a million, that means around 500,000 domestic horses, not pure breed. Pure breed was just on stud farm Borike. And after Second World War at stud farm Hans Tienica. But this second one was just military uh, stud farm. Uh, that means all other number of horses was in type of domestic horse. I took some books, some old books, to begin uh, study it and so on. Yeah, and established the second stud farm in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, and then 2008, I moved back to Slovenia. Yeah, and now here. In totally, there is around, when you're talking about pure breed, and there is around 400, all categories. And that all. mean stallions, mares, 
false young males and young uh, students. Day two of the Bosnian mountain horse. Today it is a little bit chilly, but luckily it is not raining. So we're gonna go and meet some of the horses that uh, do carriage driving today. Really, really fun day yesterday. It's been super cool meeting everyone with the Breed Association, and I'm really looking forward to today. So it's a mix of uh, wild, yeah, animal. wild, uh, well, deer and and pork. Mushrooms in themselves. They grow in their wood, so they don't have to hunt elsewhere. Prvič sem se srečil z njemu na trilavom, na kredalici. I met this horse at the highest mountain in Southeast Europe, that's Mount Trigla, which is in Slovenia. Kjer so nosili hrano in Pijačo. And that we carry food into, uh, for the hut, za, the mountain hut. Za pohodnike na Triglav. Yeah, for everyone who's going to Triglav. Triglav is 1,864 meters high. In the past, I had a desire to be a great success in the most famous circle of the Bosnians. So ever since then, I was uh, really dreaming of owning such a horse. In this team, it was so hard to go. The son of the father was so young, so they didn't have pony. I said, "Pony, pony, 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 uh, and then later in life, his uh, granddaughters wanted a pony. And he said, well, let's not have a pony because you will grow up and outgrow him. And I'm getting older and older, so let's have a Bosnian mountain horse. In the last few so bile tok srečne, ker sem jaz rekel, da bom kupil bosance. In preko prijatelja mojega, najboljšega prijatelja, me je svetval tega dolinjška toneta. Yeah, so his best friend uh, advised him to contact Mr. Uh, Anton Dolinšek. In smo šli do njega, pač kompromis je bil. Zmenili smo se, beseda je dala besedo in konje sem kupil od njega. So I bought the horse from Mr. Dolinšek. Yeah. No, in ko je kon domov prišel, je, je, je mimo žrebička, je mimo žrebička, zredil sem že dva žrebeta. So when the horse uh, came, it was a mare, so already we had a foal and I already bred three, 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 three foals yeah, all together. Yes. Yeah. No, podaril sem pol prvega žrbička sem podaril uh, vnukinji, ki ga makija. The first foal I gave to my granddaughter. Ja, jahat in vozat in uspelo nam je. So I also wished the, to, you know, to train the horses to be ridden and also to drive, so these are my wishes come true. I'm very happy with that because these horses, the Bosnian mountain horses, are returning the love that I gave them. In upam da ih bomo do konca življenja. So I hope to have them as long as I live. No. The breed is, is not a pony, it's rather a small horse. They are quiet and trustworthy, I mean, in really trustworthy towards humans, uh, but they kept their primal energy and, uh, you know, relationship towards the environment. So they're very expressive and energetic when it needs to be.
They are very compact, very strong, agile horses and uh, strong back, uh, strong legs, very resilient, healthy. Practically they have no disease, which is for example typical for a modern horse. So they are um, very easy to, to keep. Hooves are very hard um, and they're short-footed. So they can really walk steep mountains um, and take care either of the rider or, or the load they are, they are carrying. Through the scientific wor work of one of our breeders in, in the Netherlands, actually she has an institute and she developed the entire, as you say, science behind it, there are differences like uh, the vertebra um, in their neck um, and then the ligaments uh, in their hooves. So they have an extra, um, it's like a ligament in their hoof, which gives them really more power into their hooves when they walk. Um, and they discover that actually compared to modern horse breeds, they have very little fascia that can be found on their body, which means that actually the body, the entire composition, construction, the bones are exactly as they were a thousand years ago. They are our heritage um, and the you know, biodiversity is not simply a biological fact, but it's also a cultural fact. So they are important for human history as well as we are important for their continuation. So we care for, for, their, um, for the purity of the, of the breed, not to get any interventions uh, that are unnecessary because they're perfect. What an amazing way to experience this breed. It's always so fun too to have a, just a team working together. I love that. <laughs> Made from wheel and like gnocchi type of pasta. <laughs> this is the cream cake, right? Oh my gosh. For you, what's your favorite thing about the breed? Um, well, you know, um, answer to such a question is always a personal and um, I think that every person that can help someone else should do that. It's simply because you can do that, that tasks you to actually assist and help. And I was in a position to help uh, in, uh, you know, preserving the breed and that's what I want to do. Um, so. Um, this is how I realize my um, life on earth. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm really grateful for that opportunity. I think it's a, it's a very important thing and to be part of it, is, it's an honor. Let's just put it simply. Around the world, horses continue to shape our lives. They inspire us, they help us through difficult times, they connect us with others, and they remind us of the things in life that are truly important. I am so, so honored to be able to learn about these horses and I hope you all have enjoyed this as well.